Today, we have a very special training. They're actually students of mine who started in 2021. They actually started out a little bit slow, but now they're hitting $20,000 months. His wife just quit her job, a six figure job. So I'm really, really excited to bring them on. I want to introduce David and Amanda McCarty. What's going on, guys? Hi. How's it going? <laughs> Doing so good, man. And, and Amanda, thank you. Thank you so much for coming on. So tell us a little bit more about your backstory and kind of why you started, all that good stuff. Okay. All right, so in October of 2021 is when I joined up with Jonathan Montoya's program, Freedom Breakthrough 2.0. Did the three-day challenge first. So my journey literally started with $7. Nice. Initially, I was with David Sharp's program, Legendary Marketer, and it's no insult at all whatsoever because I know there's a lot of colleagues that we have that are with Legendary Marketer. It just, my personality didn't match. After that, I got into the three-day challenge, the $7 three day the, challenge the OG right? challenge, right? Yeah. That's right. That's right. It took me about three weeks. I had no tech skills. I knew nothing about sales funnels. I knew nothing about get response. I had no idea what I was doing, but because of Jonathan's three day challenge, I was able to take and put it all together at my pace with my lack of, you know, tech, I was still yeah. able to do it. Then I went all in and then started going at it. Awesome. Okay. Well, I'm excited to learn it. I'm excited to see like take in and kind of been able to figure out on your own. Let's go ahead and get started. So you want me to share a screen? Yeah, let's go. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is David. This is my wife, Amanda, and we are passively living. So today's training, we're going to show you how we take a cold lead to a hot lead to a buying lead we're going to show you what we do in the background we're going to show you a little bit about our journey but as you can see right here on the screen i am gold ranked with jonathan and so far right now with combined programs we're at twenty five thousand. so with we're not jonathan's programs. yes with jonathan's programs we're not super affiliates we're just right ahead of you so to say that you can get here is absolutely possible now our conversion rate is 57 percent that is taking referrals to buyers but guess what you can do that as well it's just a matter of tactic it's a matter of being honest and straightforward and that's all there is to it so here you will actually see the difference between your beginning and your end actually i'm going to say your journey the beginning and the rest of your journey so my first low ticket sale and refund was actually in january 31st in 2022 you can see it there down at the bottom this is when i actually took and treated this business i was still kind of like well you know and came up with all the excuses had the wrong mindset and did everything absolutely wrong in my opinion now so this is how I treated it as a side hustle. When we actually started changing our ways and when I realized that I had wasted so much time and I said, you know what, this is a business. I need to treat it like a business and I need to put everything I got into it. That's when I started redoing things, reformulating everything that I did. And we still do that today. As you can see, June 20th of 2022, we went to $1,122.75. And at the time of that, I was actually filling up her gas tank, which was actually quite amazing. So to say that I got home very quick is an understatement. We're gonna cover the cold to hot traffic, the three-step framework, lead generation, which is your cold traffic, lead qualifying. Qualifying is actually gonna be really 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 important then we're going to get you to the close so cold traffic of course refers to people who are not familiar with your brand or your product even yourself they may have never even heard of your business and they're just starting the process of how can i get out of my job what can i do warm traffic refers to people that have shown some level of interest in your brand your products you these individuals may have visited or have been reading your blog or your facebook post or something thereof and they are right there with you, but they're not quite there yet, right? Hot traffic refers to the people who are ready to buy. These are the people that you've gone through, you've vetted, you've given them the information, you've given them all of your attention, and you have gone through the process the right way so that you can get their confidence level up because you know we're going from one mindset to another. Okay, so this is just the technicalities of the one, two, three. And this is what really confuses people, you know, defining a target audience. 
easier said than done. Identifying lead sources. Lead magnets are great and promoting them. He teaches you all how to do that. But defining an audience and finding out what platform works for you is pretty much the hardest things in this for new people. Then you have lead qualifying. And this is like the technical side of that. And this is what confuses everybody. All the marketing jargon, whatnot. So I'm not gonna read that. You'll get the PowerPoints later so that you can match up what this means because we're gonna simplify all of this for you and show you how we consolidate our efforts and encompass all of these things. So when you close, you know, there's the presentation, the objection handling, negotiations, and close the deal. So I learned early on that if we focus on the front end and we do all the prep work, the close is easy, right? So how did we consolidate that? One thing that you need to understand is marketing 101. A confused customer never buys, but a confused marketer will never make a sale. So keep that in mind. You have to speak clearly and understand what you're doing. We use Awaken Leads. As medical professionals, we love acronyms. Yes, that is correct. And honestly, we'll talk about how we brought our medical background into this, but every aspect of any type of business where you're in any type of customer service, you use the same skills. So really it's not nearly as difficult as we overthinkers make it out to be. So in our short form content, we use Awaken and A is awareness. So how do we solve their XYZ problem? We bring awareness to opportunity. Transformation, the lifestyle, personal growth, how this will actually transform your life is what you want to actually show to everybody out there because when they see your transformation, they are gonna want that more than anything else. But also the low cost, the community, the learnability. I have no tech skills when I first started or I had no tech skills when I started this and look at where I'm at today. I'm not a super affiliate per se, but I am definitely a different person and that's the path that I'm on and we are striving for even more so. One thing I want to point out through my research, one thing I learned about this business early on is that people started to really take to social, especially during the pandemic for the community. So if you can tie in and display the community, so the community is huge. But another thing is personal growth and personal development is way more popular. People want that more than make money online. So how do we tie those two things together? The money is a bonus, but look at what I did. And for me, I was a procrastinator. It took me six months to buy a $300 vacuum. And I lived in the same town for 39.75 years. We got off a cruise ship and was driving through Florida and <laughs> building a business. And I said, this is the place that makes me happy. This is the place I wanna be. I need to give our business the best opportunity to succeed. We're staying the night, pull over, let's find a hotel. We're gonna buy a house here. And in 24 hours, we put an offer on a house hundreds and hundreds of miles away from home and moved our family. So that is a huge transformation. W, walk with me. I know if you are on YouTube, you see the kids playing with kids and unboxing and all that kind of stuff. Why do they do that? It's called mirror neurons. When you watch somebody do that, you're like 80 to 90%. Your brain feels like you're in that activity with them. So David is really good at all of this kind of content. Yep, so I share real-time experiences attending coaching calls. I do document the journey. She actually does a little bit more than that, but it's vitally important, especially when you're first starting off, that you have to celebrate the small and all wins. Especially before you have monetary results, right? Because yep. not all results revolve around money. People want to see growth and they want to be able to see that they can do it. So like David will do it while he's driving. He'll make content about driving. He'll make content to show like one of his most popular videos. He was at work in uniform by the ambulance. And I made the video was you make what $1,100 in two weeks. What if I could show you how to make $1,100 in one day? And that video just went boom, just blew up. But you gotta have those aha moments. And that's why we celebrate the wins. Building the funnels, building the bridge page, the videos, getting on camera, all that stuff is something to celebrate when you actually achieve that goal of it's done. And once you do that, you need to share that so you can actually give that out. I'm gonna tell you another aspect of why do we share these? Because when you guys finish the goal you set to do, building out your funnel, recording the bridge video, doing all your workbook, you're very, very excited. So if you take five seconds and put yourself on camera and say, 
Oh my God, I just finished my workflow. This is amazing post. People are going to go, what's a workflow? What are you happy about? <laughs> what's a funnel? A bridge page video? What do you mean? But it also has another benefit to show other new marketers. Hey, I can ask her, how'd you get your bridge page video? Now we're building this network online. We're building connection between fellow marketers. We're building a whole lot of things, but we're generating curiosity, right? And that's ultimately what we want to do. Aha moment. Also other student successes, highlight the community, start networking, start working with each other because you will, strength is in greater numbers. So make sure you actually communicate with each other. One thing I teach my students is if you always talk to one another about your ideas and you have a really good idea that no one's tried, your name is going to start to come up in conversation even when you're not there. Right. And that is an authority building powerhouse. Right. So if you start to share ideas and I do not fear competition, people buy from people. And I know we don't overlap audiences. So that makes me very comfortable sharing with other fellow marketers who relates to you is not going to relate to me. And that's OK. But you start to build your authority in the community because your ideas start to shine. OK, so a ask thought triggering questions and highlight your solution. Thought triggering questions. Do you have any idea what that does? How many of you are familiar with Robert Kiyosaki? You're familiar with him. You read his book, so on and so forth. But one of the things that he said is your mindset. If you think with a statement, your brain's going to shut off. But if you think with a question, your brain's going to turn on. Your brain from a medical point of view is a muscle in which you have to use in order to take and make it grow. So you want to ask those thought triggering questions, highlight your solution, so on and so forth. Now, when David got started, I was not as supportive of this. No one sold me on affiliate marketing except myself. I got into this <laughs> by research because he started to make money and I thought I was going to go to prison and I did not want to be Bernie Madoff's <laughs> wife. Okay. That's how I got in. And then I realized I was so very wrong. So David started a TikTok when he started marketing, right? And I used to make fun of him. Like, what are you doing? Doing all these nonsense moves. I would walk in the room and there'd be. I recently started tracking this. And so as of last night, he had 465.2 thousand views on TikTok and 34,000 likes. This is his most recent viral video here. I hope you can hear it. Go watch this video if you would like, if you can't hear it very well. But it, what it is, is I took what I did and what I did now compared it to each other. It was just a simple one minute video, but it was great. It turned out really well. He also uses the raise that was very, very popular. The percentage of a raise. So when you do these, you got to make those mental connections with people. So he was like, if you get a 3% raise, that's X amount of dollars per year on X amount of salary per week. And he does the math. He's very good at these faces. Those are the things that make connections right with people. So you want to take and look up the pain points. For example, you know, people are not happy with their raises. What she was referring to is 3% on $50,000 is $1,500. And I did a video on this as well, but $1,500 over 52 weeks is $28 and 65 cents a week. So if you look at that, you can't even fill up your gas tank per week with that raise. So how do you actually conquer that pain point? Well, I can show you how you can make $1,500 a day or $2,000 a day, whatever it is. Right. You got to make it make sense to them. I could work two hours a day and make $1,000 a month, even if I only made one sale, but I could work two hours a day of overtime and never hit that level. Okay. Now you've got me thinking, right? I can see myself doing this and why it would be beneficial for my family knowledge, challenge objections. So this is me, right? This is my analytical brain. And this is the things that no one could answer when I got into this. And I thought it was a scam. Since then, David has been so kind to bring in my analytical nonsense for people because I'm not the content maker. Okay. So be knowledgeable, right? Show me the money. No one could ever tell me where the budget was. Where's this money coming from? So I trace marketing back 102 years. Actually, I went back to the 1700 peddler, but I wrote up 102 years. And I showed the transition of from the 1900s to currently. And all affiliate marketing is, is a digital repurposing of traditional marketing. 
Then we brought in the social aspect of it. Also, you know, everybody has ad free services now. Brands don't have access to people. How much do they used to pay for a Super Bowl commercial? So people can make sense of the budget's always been there. It's just in a different place now. Explain what affiliate marketing is. And this is also very huge. This is one thing that helped us out tremendously. Do we only promote the course? No, we promote course links as a paid internship to build a digital resume. Why? Because when I got started, I had zero channel. David had some, I did not. I went and plugged and played everything Jonathan said into high ticket affiliate programs in a different niche that I got rejected for. Now, David was approved because he had been doing this. He had the traffic, he had the engagement, he had the conversions, but me as a brand new person, no, it did not work. So now I appreciate what promoting the course link does for you. And I can demonstrate that, right? David did this, how it differs from the MLM. MLM, we, you don't make any money from anybody else. You make it from the companies that you promote. That's it, period, done over with. The biggest pyramid in the world today is your job. C CEO, yeah. So if you look at a job, you have your CEO, you have your board members, you have your supervisors, you have your managers, then you have all these employees that's the pyramid scheme yeah so what he did is he took a picture of the the ceo hierarchy took all the words out and all the titles and published that and oh this is a pyramid scheme no and then the next day follows it up with everything labeled right and it's ceo the directors and so it shows that you are so concerned about a pyramid scheme that you've been gripped into one with administration and now look, so no matter what seems like a quality thing today, you're like, damn. Let's talk about this. I'm going to ask a question. Give me a one. If, if you have heard any of these companies, Expedia.com, Hotels.com, Cars.com. Have you heard of any of those companies? Apple Vacations, ever heard of those? Does any one of those entities actually own any properties? Does hotels own any hotels? Hotels.com, do yeah. they actually own physical property? Folks, those are affiliate companies. It's not a scam, it's that simple. Looking at current and future budget projections, books and resources, as you can see, I have a bunch of books up here. The bottom oh, line is, if you want to be successful, surround yourself with successful people. You will pick up good habits from them and you will learn from them and you will implement what they want to teach you because that's where you want to be. The point of this is, this is short form content. You can do all of this stuff in 10 seconds in your daily activity. You're posting TikTok dance videos. Don't do that. Read a book, post about what you read. Post about your course, post about what you learned, post about, wow, the budget projections are this for 2027, which is over a hundred billion dollars. All of this stuff is free information for you. So everything you do, you want to forward that on. Those are the small wins. This is every bit of it. Emotions, positive and negative, your painful experiences. For me, mine was the tech stuff. I couldn't get through that funnel or uh, what is Jonathan talking about? What is, you know, how do you do get response and all that other stuff? That was my pain point, but I took that pain point learned from it and made it to where I could forward it to everybody else. Also my discomfort, my struggles, my struggles, you know, just wanting to throw the computer out the window, so on and so forth. But that's how you want to do your short form content of how to take and break that negative thought. Right. And then why did I get in this business? My family was falling apart. My, I was on the verge of divorce. My children were unruly. We had no schedule. I made a ton of money, but at the sacrifice of my family, right? That is a pain point that I can talk about. And then I can talk about overcoming that discomfort with the business. I was a horrible procrastinator. I bought a house in 24 hours, hundreds of miles away from home. That was a problem that this business gave me a solution. The struggles with the business, the struggles with money, the struggles with kids, the struggle of my family. Cause listen, this man overcome the unachievable and he had such belief in this business when no one else around him did. We made fun of him. We told him he was a scammer. We told him he was in a pyramid scheme. We made fun of his TikTok videos. Not just me, his wife, his coworkers, his family, his older children. He got a lot of slack and he just smiled with the biggest integrity and kept on pushing. Guess who's laughing now? Yeah, I'm like, I apologize <laughs> almost every single day. Listen, people, like he fought the hardest fight because he would say, Amanda, come help me with the link. And I was like, nope, please help me. 
nope. But can I talk to you about the business? Nope. And then one day he just said, I'm getting in this business. I make money too. And I was like, you better get my money back. And I did. Right. And so <laughs> here we are now. So jokes on me, but all of that is shareable, right? Nice over nasty. This is one of my pet peeves. If you are live, if you are doing content creation, your mind has to be in the right place. If it is not, I promise you, they will see it. They will read it all over your face. And if you have a negative thought in your mind, you best go for a walk around the block, start thinking about the positive stuff and then come back and do it. But one, never argue. It does you no good. Not only that, it makes you look weak. It makes you look small. Never say you're wrong because from their point of view, they are right. But have them prove to you or have them explain why they're right. Because you're not agreeing that they are correct. You are saying, yes, I understand that you believe the sky is purple, but may I show you why I believe it's blue, right? You're not agreeing that the sky is purple. You're agreeing that they believe that. And if you keep that agreeability open, they're going to be more open to follow you through a transformation. The moment you say, what? That sky is blue and you are wrong. You shut their brain down and you'll never go any further with them. So never bash anyone, never bash a product. Let me tell you something that I see that happens day in and day out with this business. And it puts a sour taste on the entire industry. When you bash a product, you are bashing your own company. You are bashing your business. Stop doing it. They all work. We promote the business model because the business model works. Fortune 500 companies use it and they actually take in, you know, want you to be affiliates for them. So don't do that. Absolutely. This is the do's and don'ts and that right there will destroy you very quickly. Never engage in things you don't want done to you. Treat people the way you wish to be treated with respect, with integrity and honesty at all times. It will serve you a lot better than going the opposite direction and headed down the wrong path. All right. So now we're in leads and this is David's forte here. He does a lot of TikTok lives. We close sales just like that in private Zooms. We do that as well. And we've taken this concept and applied it. We did not leave Jonathan's program until we made enough money to afford to buy any other thing. We never left because Jonathan works, right? And we made $10,000 with Jonathan before we ever did anything else. On his sales page, you will see our my video. And I got very emotional with that video. It was very heartfelt because Jonathan is, in my opinion, how I feel here is like my godfather because I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't have this journey if it was not for him. So listen to what he says, take it to heart and keep moving forward. And so when David does this, we never talk about Jonathan until somebody asks, okay? We don't ever talk about any product. He does pretty much the Russell's webinar script. Hey, I'm David with Passively Living. I am a freelance digital marketer. I've been doing it for da, 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 da. And he goes through this script in close and end. So that's what the L stands for is live stream. But if you've got a lot of intimate questions, take them to a private Zoom, cluster your efforts, okay? Explain what you do, how you get started, how it transform your life. Give them examples, show them examples. When you're doing TikToks, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, show a part of your life. You are the reason why they're gonna get into this business. They have to know you, they have to trust you, and you have to be as open as a book to the point that they can just turn the pages. What it involves, CF, Click funnels. Click funnels. System IO. System IO. Get response, warm and hot leads. How they can capitalize on any skill. Why they should feel confident when problems arise, so on and so forth. What you will do to help them succeed. When you want somebody to succeed and you have somebody actually reach that point, it is the best feeling in the world. It means more to us than actually getting that commission check. I mean, it is so absolutely powerful. All right. And then ask, answer, and appreciate. Always ask what they know. If you can do that, what do you already know? Because you do not want to duplicate with nonsense they know, you'll lose them. So have them tell you what they know about your business first. So another thing this also does is it lets you know, one, if they're working with somebody else already or have already, so you don't step on any toes. I, mean, I don't like to step on toes. So therefore, 
that actually blows that out of the water because then I ask, okay, well, what do you already know? Okay, where did you learn that from? And then I don't ethically and immorally step on anybody's toes in which I absolutely don't do. Ask for the understanding. Does this make sense? I mean, right now, is our presentation making sense to you? Is it jogging some things in your head? Is it getting you moving to where you're just like, that's what I can do next. This is what I can do next. So answer specific questions. The reason why you want to go through all of these courses, the reason why, for example, I did the $9 challenge, 72 hour challenge is because people are going to ask me questions. I can't know the answer to questions if I don't know what they're doing. But at times you will absolutely get to that point where you can say, I don't know. And it's okay. I'll ask. I've got the resources. I can go find out. I'll let you know as soon as I can. Answer what you're promoting. Only if they ask. Teach the business model. Teach the transformation, the value of what it is. But never ever mention the product that you're doing, I feel it's just better to give that value. I think it's better to just leave them in the the world of what is this, what's going on, because for those of you who don't use analytics to optimize, this is one of your key components that will tell you if you're building curiosity on your live. If you never mention anything about what you're selling and they ask you, you have now can attest that I generated curiosity. They want to know the cost. So I don't answer immediately. The reason being is because we promote multiple different products. So we don't answer the question of how much it costs until we can actually narrow down what is going to benefit the customer, what's going to fit right for the customer. But if they want to start with basics, then guess what? I will take and give them the answers. Don't hide anything. Don't make it look like you're hiding anything because that makes you look like you're sneaky. So I give them a reason why I don't tell it at first, but then when they give me a specific question of, I just want to know a starting point, then I will give them the answer. Answer your followers with comments, emails, phone calls. Let me ask you if this makes sense. Text messages. Do they always come through clearly as intended? Yes or no? Does a business actually have a phone? Yes. So the thing is, is that I have no problem with talking to people. That's why my close rate is so high is because I will talk to people. Appreciate what you're asking for. I get it's a lot of money, but you're going to forget you even spent that money. Right. And so if you are selling a $3,000 product, you're asking somebody to give you 10% of their annual earnings. So you better do something to earn that money that they're trusting you with, right? You have to know what you're selling and know that it works. And you need to appreciate what they're giving you. Direct them. When you were actually on TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, wherever it is, call to action. Direct them to your link, your comment section, your messenger. Transfer them to an email, your private or favorite groups, your website, your trusted free resources, your friends' content, such as Salvatore, Shannon. So anybody that struggles, like I have people that contact me that may have a speech impediment, they some kind of disability, and they're like, oh, I'm going to do terrible on camera. We adore Salvatore, and he has always been very kind and helpful to anybody who may have any kind of um, reservations about being attacked on camera because they're not picture perfect. Who knows? Jonathan's affiliate stacking ecosystem. So Jonathan has you start off with the ecosystem at TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, whatever, right? This right here, what Amanda's about to start showing you is a precursor to the affiliate stacking ecosystem. When we got started with Freedom Breakthrough, that's how I got exposed to System.io. And we lost a lot of business because people couldn't afford click funnels. And I started to try to build funnels in System.io. And that's how I got involved, like discovered. The I'm founder like, of System.io. Yeah. So Aurelian, I, I believe it is. Aurelian. Yes, that's it. Thank you. And so I started to study him and he is a brilliant man. His story is very incredible, but he had an excellent closing process. And then Russell Brunson, I read his books, David and I both. So anyway, the application funnel. And then, you know, there's a whole lot of stress over how do we market to programs? Because I will never drop Jonathan Montoya. He is my go-to number one. I trust him. I like him. I think he's humble. There's nobody who puts out a better product than him. So we actually sell more Jonathan than anything because we know the value through and through. So when we started building these up, you've got two types of people. People with more time than money and people with more money than time. 
So we had to find that solution and we did, but how do we know without putting them in all these different directions? Well, we call this our assessment and all this is now because it's called an assessment, that's because we're medical professionals. When we have medical patients, we assess them. So to qualify, in other words, we do an assessment. This is how, if you're promoting multiple different products, how you can actually assess or qualify people. Any for one product in any space, right? Cause this is going to give you everything you need to know to gauge your conversation and avoid promoting something that is not a good fit. Okay. One hot, warm, cold. You can get a lot of this in realistic goals. We build out a five year plan. So year one, year three, year five, what are your goals? And in that amount of time. Anytime you're building a business, you should have a plan of action, a, a goal setting action to where you can actually take and keep yourself and hold yourself accountable. But this right here also does another thing. It lets us know a little bit about them, but our website lets them know a little bit about us. Why do you want to be an affiliate marketer? Successful affiliate marketers are afforded many freedoms. Which of the following most interests you? Because now what we're doing is, are they a pleasure? shifter or a pain and crisis shifter we're starting to make match them up to see how they're going and what their pain points actually are like what's your fears how do i challenge this objection on the front end so we don't get in gridlocked okay yeah these are all objections that we are going to know ahead of time and can we actually overcome those objections absolutely we can because we've got the experience on how to solve that problem and then how satisfied are you in your current job situation? You know, if I'm, I'm okay with it, I know that I got a little bit more transition to do, but if I'm, you know, I can't bear to live this way for another year, then my, my, my lead's getting a little bit hotter. And then as of today, I am willing to invest what in my training. If you click 500, I know I can get you into that three payment plan. If you click 1500 to 3000, I can sell you the full course today. Or if there's something else that I'm promoting in that price range, affiliate marketing is not the best fit for you. I can move something else, right? Or I'm not ready to invest at this time. I can send them a lead magnet. I can send them the $9 course. If you can't give me $9 to see if this business is right for you, but you'll waste it on coffee, you're not my people. In the last 30 days, I've used the following. Now I know how comfortable they are on social, right? Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Snapchat, YouTube, LinkedIn, all that stuff. It gives you an idea of how comfortable they are with the online space as well. Most of the time, how do you make changes? Is it because of pain, loss, force, pleasure, purpose, you know, benefits, choice, no real reason, seem like the thing to do at a time. This will actually take in and help you decide how desperate this person is. If they are deciding crisis, pain, loss, and force, you have somebody that you need to pay attention to. You Listen, know. you guys, we do really well together because we come at different angles. Here's the thing about this as well. If they're a crisis, pain, loss, force shifter like me, we're going to hit those pain points. But if they are a pleasure, purpose, benefits type of choice, we're going to be the shiny object, right? Like, oh, you can do this. You can do that. You can do this or it solves this problem for you this problem like i know you're tired of this xyz so that's how you gauge your conversation based upon the people you're dealing with and then i give them an open spot we to give me a little bit about their background and it is amazing how many cheerful stories you'll get in this thing so this is how we kind of gauge if we have a hot warm or we're not sure everybody goes to this assessment and it submits i print it out we prepare before a phone call. This may seem like a bunch of questions to you, but qualifying has a whole different mental mindset. How many people have actually been to the car dealership? Doesn't matter what kind of car dealership. You're going to the car dealership and you were going there because you have to buy a car. Next thing you know, you're going to be sitting at a table and the finance manager is going to come out to you with a questionnaire, an assessment, a qualifying form, right? So what's going to happen? They're going to take and put this piece of paper in front of you. You're going to fill it out, which we have people do. They literally go to it. They fill this out. And now they're wondering if they're qualified or something thereof, right? What's the most nerve wracking part? Sitting in a chair, arms crossed, drinking a cup of cheap coffee that they gave you. And you're sitting there. And the next thing you know, you see the finance manager walking from behind the hallway. 
and they come over and they say, you're approved. Woo! What? <laughs> right? What does that do to your brain? That right there, you're approved. This assessment, however you want to do it, puts that person in that frame of mind. And guess what? They are now approved. They have the same mindset as buying a car. And guess what? We're going to get them through the process a whole lot faster. You chose me, yep. right? When somebody is chosen or approved, that it does, it changes the way your brain is working at that moment and puts you into a more agreeable yes state of mind. Okay. So this has a lot of power behind it. But guys, you want to simplify things, you know, look for ways to do that. Even take these questions and ask these questions. This is all day this right is, here. This is definitely, I don't care what industry you are in, please take this to heart. When you have somebody going from cold to hot, when you get them in the hot seat, if you don't ask for the sale, it will not happen. You have to ask for the sale because they're going, 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 going. And then you say, okay, we'll talk to you soon. And then they're like, well, what do I do now? Well, the next step was ask for the sale. The next step was for them to buy, right? Ask for the sale. Send them straight to the checkout page. Send them to the 72 hour challenge. If they're warm. You know, if they're warm, if they're cold, send them them lead magnets. Send them a thank you after you sell them and everything else and make sure they understand their value. And that is you're thankful for them. You appreciate them. Send them the encouragement to keep going because every single day, I don't care if you're, listen, you've got the mindset, you're, you're already here, you're ready to go, but there are daily tasks that you have to keep your head focused. And you know what? You being a leader in the industry, you send them that encouragement that's going to keep them rocking and rolling, okay? So this is just like a recap and just some things that I think that are important to keep in mind when you're doing this business. One, you're an affiliate and that role is a problem solver, right? You're finding solution to people's problems, problems they may not even know they have. You may not be responsible for the customer service of the product, but you do have a responsibility to your customers. No use and trust products before you promote them. It may not be your product, but it's your trusted word. Be resourceful, creative, and never forget what it means and feels to be a beginner. Bring the business into you, not you into the business. Leveraging is to assist you with time to get going and to inspire you how to write war stories in your emails and whatever. It is not to be copied word for word and used forever. You have to be authentic. Always be honest. If you make a mistake, admit it and follow through on what you promise. It's okay not to have an answer. You know where to find it. You can't know what you don't know. So if you try to fake it, you don't know if they know more than you and you make yourself look like an idiot. So play it safe. Be honest. Okay. As long as you're one step ahead of them, you're an expert to someone. Believe in what you sell and always strive to master your craft. Never stop learning. If you are the smartest person in the room, you are in the wrong room. You better find a new one. That's all. The other thing is too, your stance. Your position can change at any time. Your destination is a great place. But if you use your stance, if you use where you're coming from as the fuel to get you moving, you're going to get there a lot faster. So let's get going. Let's go with the questions. Wow. You guys just dropped some incredible knowledge because I think a lot of people just focus on creating content, creating content, creating content, especially beginners. Right. But as you start learning the game, it's like, how can we start closing them? So that is incredible. I love the application process as well. I know some people are asking about that. So I'm not sure if you guys have some examples, but I will go through that in the questions before though, I want to make sure people are following you guys and they can thank you for the training. Where can we follow you guys? Do me a big favor. Okay. Go to their profiles. Okay. Maybe on TikTok or Facebook, but go and just say, thank you for the training. I really do appreciate you guys coming on. All right, let's do some Q and a, I'll let you guys just pick out some questions here. How to bring value as a beginner. First off, learn how to pair yourself with Jonathan. When you get in with Jonathan, you are a team. For example, you know, if you want to take advantage of our white label challenge, 
guess what? You just paired yourself. You put some authority behind it with some conviction and you partnered yourself with Jonathan. That's how you leverage Jonathan. And that's how you're going to take and be able to start off as a beginner. Just by taking that step and committing, you have done something many others are so afraid to do. Mm -hmm. So just by saying, I opted in, that is valuable to someone. How can I do this if I'm not perfect in English? Oh, great question. So I know on YouTube, especially they have a translator, but you can also use a translator device or just say, Hey, I'm not really great in English. Just identify the fact they'll appreciate you being honest and then say, I'm learning. If that's not a problem with you, I'd be happy to still help you and we'll work it out together. Yeah. And I want to, I want to address that as well. I, and, Cause I, I think part of the concern is like, I can't speak great English. Maybe they have an accent. Well, Camila on day number three, she mentioned that, right? She's Brazilian. She English was like her second language and she was very, very uncomfortable speaking, but she got out of their comfort zone anyway. She pushed through it. Like everyone has something that is going to hold them back, whether it's a language barrier, Salvatore, like he's partially deaf, like all kinds of things that can hold you back. Right. But at the end right. of the day, it's like we can't control those things, right? Okay, here, here's a good question. I mean, you're an affiliate marketer, right? Your business is taking a buying customer, playing the middleman and sending them to the product, right? Do I have to sell, close the sales myself? No, I don't. But as a business entity, I chose that. I mean, I don't have to do phone calls. You don't close the sales. Yeah. I really just... like not focusing on closing the sale. Put your focus on preparing for the sale yeah. because if you prepare correctly, the selling is effortless, right? Just a quick I'm, question here on which funnel you use. I'm assuming, yeah. I think you said click funnels, right? We click use funnels, them both. Click funnels all day is yeah. by yeah. far the, the most trusted ease of use. So, that is our recommendation, but system IO is up and coming very quickly and will do you well as well. Yeah. I have them all. I have system IO, click funnels, classic and 2.0. Yeah, to answer your question, Marianne, I know they use ClickFunnels. I use ClickFunnels. In the challenges, I give you the option to use ClickFunnels or System.io because I just don't want excuses. Because back then, before System.io was really a thing, you had to have ClickFunnels and that would stop people from paying, you know, from moving forward. So there's no excuse anymore. Literally don't have to pay for anything if you don't want to. I, I really want to answer this fun question. What are the pros and cons of being married a married couple in your business and do you both have businesses of your own that the other is not a part of first of all amanda and i work very well together only for the simple fact that we are literally polar opposites i'm left-handed she's right-handed i'm tall she's short i'm born on an island way out west and she's born in kentucky and about Every, Woods Farm. Everything about us is 100% different. So I bring something to it. She brings something to it. And then we meet in the middle. The cons, she's always telling me she's right. That's not true. <laughs> I'm, yeah, that's Heather, I'm proving to you that I'm right, first of all. I'm proving that's that I'm right. Cool, Do we cool. ever clash? Sure. But I am a very strong-willed country bumpkin from a hauler. And if I know I'm right, I put a lot of money and research and time into that. And ultimately I'll do what I want to, to prove that I'm right. If I know it. Love it. Love it. Well, thank you guys so much for watching David, Amanda. You guys are amazing. I love having people like you inside the community. Someone that actually believes in what we're doing here. It means so much to me because I, at the end of the day, I want good people to be inside this program. But anyways, I appreciate you guys. I really do. So we'll talk to you guys soon. God bless. All right. Bye guys. Thank you. Bye.